everybody from YouTube. My name is Random Linux Guy, and today I'm bringing you another Windows 7 tutorial. My last Windows 7 tutorial that I uploaded got a ton of views, 30 in three weeks. That is the fastest my views have gone up in that short of time. Uh, and I am really proud of that, and I'm going to thank you guys a lot for actually making my videos supported and uh, liked on YouTube. Um, but today we are going to talk about changing your icon in Windows 7. So, for example, I have the standard uh, Chrome icon here, but maybe I want to change that. Maybe I want to change the icon for Skype or any of my uh, word shortcuts. And you can do that fairly easily, and uh, I'm going to show you how. And so the first step is you're going to open up your web browser, and you're just going to go to uh, google.com slash images. Or you can just click on, uh, you can just go to Google homepage and click on the images tab, which will be right up there. Um, and you're just going to search uh, any icon you want, but I'm just going to find a really cool looking uh, Chrome related icon. So I'm just going to type in uh, Google Chrome uh, icons. And we're going to find, we're going to look at all these. These are pretty cool. Um, let's see, I'm going to choose one that I like. For example, I kind of like the. Uh, one that's oh my god what is that <laughs> um, I kind of like this one it's some, it's a couple of cool different colors and you know it's very shiny and you know so basically I'm just gonna right click on the image save it as give it any random name it's gonna save as a PNG or though or most of these will and if you try to change it to the PNG it's gonna say that there's no icons found in uh, this location or uh, in this file, so you have to convert it, and there's actually an online website for doing that, so we're just going to type in uh, PNG to icon converter, and I already have it in there, because I've searched it before, and it'll be iconverticons.com slash online, and it'll take you to this website, and you can just click there. You can browse down to the picture that you've downloaded, say open. Um... It'll just uh, go ahead and convert uh, Google Chrome for shiny icon into an icon, and you'll just click on the download ICO button, and it'll download it as an icon. And now we're going to go ahead and change it over by right-clicking on the Chrome shortcut, selecting properties, and going into change icon. We're going to click browse, go to wherever you saved the ICO image to, and it's only going to appear, only ICO images are going to appear because that's what it's set on. If you set it to all files, then it would you'd have more to choose from, but these are only ICO images. You're just going to click on the one that you want, uh, open it, click OK, hit, uh, click Apply. Yeah, you have to be an administrator to do this, so, you know, if you're a child under the age of five and are in your parents' user account, then this is not going to be something for you, but go ahead and hit Continue, say OK, and then there we go. It's still a fully functioning icon, but we have this awesome uh, Google Chrome icon to show it off and to um, draw people's attention to it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, I'm going to upload a couple more today to see um, how you get uh, how you guys react to that. I'm also going to do a video on Hackintoshing um, soon, which is, if you're not familiar with that, I'll explain it later. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.